what is going on guys welcome to the 19th bootstrap tutorial in which I'm gonna show you how to add some more things to your form so let's get started now in the last tutorial we just created a simple form with just two input boxes now let's just spice it up a little bit and before doing that let me just make it a bit nice by adding a heading let's just say your information and if you look at that in the browser that should look better and as you can see this looks better than before because the, it looks like more customized now okay so let's get back to work now let's just add another form group and let's just say select your skill and right here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a simple select menu now if I do like option um, programmer or front end programmer or rather what should I write here is who are you that kind of looks challenging so front end programmer back end programmer and full stack developer and why not just replace that with developer because that kind of looks more awesome so as you can see this style is uh, sorry this select is ugly right now so what we can make use of is we can add the same class which we added to the input and that is the form control and just take a look here you see it becomes nice and buffed up kind of so let's just quickly add another form group and let's just say here your monthly pay and obviously I don't want the user to mess with this because the company would decide it and I just don't want the user to come and write a billion dollars per month and bankrupt the company so let's just copy this boy and paste it here so what I want to do is I just want to write value as a thousand dollars your monthly pay for six months that kinda looks more legit so I don't want to mess around I don't want the user to mess around this number so I can just add a disabled attribute from HTML5 and if I reload this you see we get both an icon which just says don't try to attempt to disable and to edit it and this kind of becomes grayish out as well so that's how you create a disabled input and similarly you can create a disabled select as well by just adding the same disabled attribute and uh, if you reload this you see that you can't select this either so I'm just gonna get rid of that for now and would leave this to <coughs> the input only okay the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can add an input box with an icon besides it so you know in some sites you see that there's a kind of a user a user icon appears on the sign up input just before where you have to enter the text so that kinda looks nice so let's just learn how to do that and to do that obviously we would ne need the same things again and again a form group with this thing and let's just say um do or let's just say enter your full name as a signature and let's just get rid of this and just write the placeholder as Mehul Mohan as the ghost text and what I wanna do is I want to create a glyph icon now this glyph icon as we have seen before <coughs> is the same icon which we 
make use of here in the carrot I guess no no the carrot is not using any icon it is using pure CSS but yeah you can you know just get some cliff icons by googling them and just write G L Y P H icon bootstrap and it will take you to the components page and here are all of your glyph icons so let's just search for the appropriate glyph icon and probably let me know if you find a good one how about a flag maybe so we can just make use of this whole class right here copy this class go ahead into your same div which is containing the input add a span tag span class your copied class and yeah so let's check this out in the browser and let's see if it works or not you see that it kind of overflows obviously we don't want that so to fix that what we make use of is we add another form control feedback class so this class what it does is it would just align this cliff icon to work somehow with this input and uh, I'm just gonna show you the code as well so you see that it kinda looks better now but you know it is still missing a bit of your um, you can say the space it should have so this is it and this should not probably overflow I guess adding a position relative to it should work no alright as a quick fix what you can make use of is you can just add some right to this though it should work probably without that as well but this would work as well so if you write your name like that and that would probably show up there so yeah so that's how you add some elements to your form and obviously you know how to create a button I'm just gonna copy and paste this one so yeah you can just make use of the form group again if you want to and just copy this come down replace this and obviously we don't want all of that again uh, no data toggles no carrots and just submit the form and if you take a look here then you can see here you go so that's how you create a basic form with the help of bootstrap and that's all for this tutorial and in the next tutorial i'm gonna show you how you can do something else with bootstrap so that's it and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching